Hey guys, Sandback and the Engineer, which is this wacky game that kind of feels like a three-dimensional poly bridge. Now this footage is from a few months ago when I checked out the demo, but now I have full access to the creative sandbox and I wanted to try to abuse the game a little and see if I can make a working plane. So starting out here, I loaded into a flat sandbox world and you can see next here, I wanted to try getting some wheels and just making a car. Now making a car seemed much easier than making a plane, so starting out with that definitely seemed like the better way to go here, and you can see once I got all four wheels down, I started now using some panels to connect them all together. Now once I got that front one in place, you can see in the back here, I also set that up, and I'm trying to connect them together using another panel over this gap. Now to link it all together, I'm using some nails here, and Theoretically, this should be everything I need. So with this, I tried to let it build here, and letting the physics set in, it didn't really seem to work very well. Now I think the problem is that these panels don't really link together very well, so instead, you can see me using a couple pairs of beams here underneath all the panels, and once I had this, now it was actually rigid. So I took control of my character now, and you can see I'm walking him over to the car. Now it also seemed to roll fine, so this was looking pretty good, and next, I wanted to come up with a way to power it. So the first thing I was thinking was using some sort of engine design, and to make that work, you can see I got this rotator, and I put it up on this pole. Now, with that in place, I just braced it up a little bit better, and I wanted to see if it would hold up. This seemed like a lot of extra weight, though, so I used a couple more bracing pieces, and you can see I also connected it up to the back wheel. Now, what the back wheel is going to let me do here is start to push this forward, and you can see as the wheel rotates, it also rotates up that rotator. This was interesting, but the way it oscillated back and forth wasn't super helpful, and I realized pretty quickly this design wasn't exactly what I was going for. Now, I also saw this propeller piece, and I wanted to try this out instead. Now, giving it a test, it wasn't spinning up at first, but after a little bit of time, it did seem to gain some speed. But to have it actually push the car forward, I rotated it 90 degrees here, and I wanted to see if the car would take off. So I took control of my camera, character here, and I wanted to walk around to the front of the car to see if I could jump on it as it was moving, and at first I didn't see much movement, but then it started to move. Now it was moving backwards from what I was expecting, but I was getting a pretty good amount of thrust at least, and in fact I wasn't even able to catch up to the car trying to walk to it. Now this was a great sign, but what I really wanted to do next was figure out a way to get this thing to lift off the ground. So you can see here, I started out fresh putting down another paddling piece, and I put down a fan on it. Trying this out, the fan was able to spin freely, but I didn't see see much movement. Now I thought about using a second fan to see if this would help, but that's when I remembered that the fan produces thrust in the opposite direction, so in order for this to work, I was gonna need to put down some framing pieces and mount the fan underneath. This isn't great since these pieces do weigh a lot, and trying this out here, you can see I wasn't able to get off the ground. So next, I tried deleting off the legs and using shorter ones instead, and while this definitely looked better, it still wasn't getting off the ground. So I was thinking next, maybe another fan would help me out here, and you can see I got both of these mounted, and I wanted to see what would happen. Trying this out though, now the way that the fans are so far out, they end up sagging onto the ground, and to fix this, I needed to use some screws. This seemed a little bit better here, and the fans were starting to spin up. The problem though is that only one of them ended up actually producing thrust here, although it did look pretty good. With a bit a refinement here, I was even able to get both these fans to spin up for a while, and you can see it starts to tip over to the side, but eventually one of the fans ends up stopping. So I was thinking maybe even still I was gonna need more thrust, so I tried adding on some more framing pieces to let me add on a couple more fans. This was definitely a lot more flimsy than I was hoping for though, so I tried deleting off the fans on the bottom and using a stronger base. This is of course gonna be a lot heavier, but I was hoping it would 
let me add on all the fans I was gonna need, and I'd be able to get off the ground. Now though, the fans were intersecting with each other, and it seemed like it was gonna be an endless battle of adding on more framing pieces and adding on more fans to lift up those pieces. I was hoping maybe with another layer I'd be able to get this to work though, and you can see with four more fans on this thing, I wanted to try it out. Even with screws though, which are a lot stronger than the nails, it was still bending badly. I was able to start to come off the ground though, so this was closer than I'd ever made it before. Now next, I tried to make it a little bit more rigid, and while it was still shaking back and forth a lot, I was still able to come off the ground a bit. So for a little bit more thrust, I tried adding on another layer of fans, but trying to reinforce this more, it now wasn't able to get off the ground. So I was a little stumped for a while, but eventually I remembered there are balloons in this game. Now I thought they were there just for aesthetics, but I wanted to see if they'd help me out at all. So putting five of these down here, I tried this out once again, and I noticed it actually was able to get off the ground this time. This was the closest to flight I had ever been, and seeing this, I wanted to add on more balloons to see if it would help. And trying this out, now I was lifting straight off the ground, and these balloons definitely seemed to be doing the trick. Now in fact, this thing flew for a really long time, until eventually way off in the distance, it slammed into the ground. The important thing though, is that now that I have balloons, it shouldn't be too bad to make a plane here, so you can see I deleted off my design, and I wanted to start off with some wheels to start making the real plane. Now I knew the goal here was gonna be to try to make it as light as possible, so I tried scaling everything down as much as I could, and you can see on the other side I also added down some wheels. Now that all in place, I used a couple of beams in the middle, and you can see I also added down a panel on top of those. Now in the back here, to make the tail, I just wanted to use a beam going all the way back, and I used a few more to kind of shape it up. Now I was sure this wasn't actually going to do anything, because I don't think there's any real aerodynamics in this game, but I did want it to look good. Now after that, you'll also notice I'm trying to get the character inside of the plane here, and that's so I have some way to control it. Now again, since there aren't any aerodynamics, I can't use any normal controls on this plane, so I was going to need to figure something out with the guy to move this thing around. You can see though, I added on a propeller to the front, and I'm actually adding on a few more as well to get even more speed. Now once I had three in place here, I wanted to try it out, and it wasn't great, although it was a problem that was easy enough to solve with just a few more screws. Now with this design, it was at least mostly holding itself together, and I wanted to see how I would do. Now I noticed that the guy was really starting to fall off the plane here, it was going so fast, and ended up taking out from under him. So to fix that, I wanted to add on a few framing pieces here, and try to make a seat. I was pretty sure he wasn't going to actually sit down, but it at least gives him something to kind of run up against, and you can see trying this out once again, it definitely seemed to help. This was looking pretty good, and now I just wanted to get the rest of the styling done and see if I could get it in the air. Now for the wings, I wanted to use a couple of big framing pieces here, and you can see once I got these in place, I also added on some panels like this. Now this of course gives me a pretty simple and fairly late way of holding this all together, and with a few bolts holding it all down, I just reinforced it here, and it still seemed to be able to move across the ground pretty quickly. It was definitely a little slower than before though, so to fix that, I added on a couple more propellers to the front here, and now it was going a reasonable speed. This plane was definitely getting pretty heavy though, so to start balancing that out, I added on some balloons here, and I tried cramming them in pretty much anywhere I could. And giving this a test at first, it didn't look half bad. A lot of stuff that was sagging before no longer was, although it still was on the ground. Now I also noticed that the balloon on the front was interfering with some of the propellers, so to fix that, I stacked a few balloons on top of each other further out, and this seemed to help out a lot. Now with a lot of the weight removed here, it was going quite a bit faster across the ground, but since I can't generate any lift, I was going to need a lot more balloons here to pull this thing up. Now at first, it actually seemed alright getting the front off the ground, and with a little bit of speed on the propellers, I was able to slowly pull myself up here and start gliding. This isn't exactly the orientation I had in mind when I was making the plane, but I was able to run across the ground fine here and make it really far across the sandbox. Now in fact, I actually made it so far, I made it past 
past the skybox here, and you can see there's another separate one behind it. The shadows also act a little bit weird out here, and eventually I made it even further and past the ground area. After a while, the plane started to dip down a little bit here, and I noticed after not too long, eventually it completely ran out from under me. Now I think I hit some wall that I couldn't get past here, but I wasn't entirely sure, and eventually it just teleported me back to the center area. So that was interesting to see, but I do still need a way of actually controlling this plane. And my first idea was to put down some rotators here, and you can see on these, I wanted to try creating some handles, and I wanted to put some propellers on those. Now the idea was pretty simple, I'd be able to pull up or down on either one of these handles and angle the propellers accordingly. This would at least give me some way of producing different thrust, and I'd be able to hopefully spin around here, but this guy is so hard to control, and I found it to be very difficult to move this around anywhere I wanted. More often than not, I kinda just got stuck in these random spirals here, and it really wasn't going great. This made it very easy just to fall straight out of the plane, and then it would just kinda go off without me. Now, some better balancing here, I was able to get the plane sort of situated so that it wasn't going straight up in the air, and this was looking a little bit better here, and I was able to once again get over to this water-like area. This also let the plane fly way faster, and you can see just how fast it took off away from me. Now this is all great, but I still have no way of controlling it, and that's when I decided to go for a single control in the middle. Now I'm still using a rotator here, but you can see I'm adding on a couple of handles onto it, and this time I'm only using a single fan. Now this is going to make it a lot easier since I only need to grab onto a single handle, but even this was very difficult to control here, and the plane ended up tipping over way faster than I could correct it. It's just unfortunate how difficult it is to control this guy, because it makes it very difficult to plan anything out the way I want. Trying this out, you can see I fell out of the plane, and that's when I had noticed something interesting. The plane seems to angle itself quite easily as I throw off the center of balance. So you can see I added on a pole into the middle of the plane here, and just by grabbing onto this and kind of jumping around in the direction that I want to go, I'm actually able to steer this thing around. Now it's not perfect, and you can see I was able to flip around the plane entirely once I fell out, but this was more movement than I had before, and I wanted to add on some more poles here to see if moving more or to the left and right would help me out. So I gave this a shot here, and for this test, I wanted to try to flip around the plane 180 degrees and fly in the other direction. So to do that, you can see I started walking over to the right here, and to my surprise, this was actually working. Now it was still very difficult to correct this, and trying to get back over to the left to correct this was not an easy task, but I at least had something here I was able to control, which was way more than I ever had before. Clearly this game was not made for this, and you can even see here, the balloons eventually made my entire plane explode all at once, and I ended up just falling to the ground. But if you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. If you have any fun ideas or other games I should try, definitely make sure to leave them down in the comments below, and otherwise, until next time.